Good morning and good morning to you. Welcome, welcome, welcome to this Good Morning Tottenham Away episode. It's a Thursday episode. The Tottenham Hotspur Stadium behind me. Not too long to go now before we get a game here in this country at this stadium. 6th of August against Shakhtar Donetsk. Guys, I hope you're all well. Um, how you all been? How you all been? Uh, a lot of uh, talk on the transfers. Always Kane dominating the talk you know it's almost a given <laughs> that every day we have to speak about Kane at the moment but you know what I get it from the media I understand the media have got to do their job and they're going to report on the stories until the issue is resolved one way or another and as still rightly mentioned in one of his videos yesterday you've got to nip it in the bud you've got to deal with it one way or another there's got to be a deadline and they've got to have a meeting point where they all decide what's best for Kane, for the club, for everyone, and just get it sorted once and for all. But what I do want to say, whilst I understand, I was saying that the media have got a job to do and they have every right to be chatting about it and, and what have you. Wayne Rooney, be quiet, be quiet. Isn't there some sort of manager code where you do not discuss about players belonging to other cult clubs? that are contracted to other clubs. But the disrespect, man, like seriously, why is it okay to players, and in this case, ex-players, even more so ones that is currently occupied working at DC United. So he's an employee, he's managing, and he's an employee. It's not like he's an ex-player where he's just being given an opinion and he's not associated to any other club. This is a manager of another club talking about a player that has nothing to do with his current situation. He's mentioning Man United. Why is it your job, Wayne Rooney, to be talking about Kane going to Man United when you are the manager of DC United? Shut your mouth. Shut your mouth. Ain't your job to do so. Get questioned about Kane. Talk about Kane as a player, great player, whatever. Whatever. But don't be talking about him moving from Spurs or his prison in, imprisoned by Spurs. What kind of, What kind of stuff is that, man? That really, really annoyed me, guys, because I don't. This is the only club and the only player, and like I said, Tottenham is the only club that this kind of talk, where a manager of another club that's not even in negotiations or even in chats of a player joining his club, he weighs in and gives his points of view in this situation. Let me know your thoughts. Am I exaggerating on that? Am I going a bit over the top? Because I don't think I am. I, I just think it's it's wrong. Um, like I said, a, a manager that's contracted to um, uh, employed by another club talking about a player that belongs to Spurs about joining Man United with him having zero association with it. He's not even an employee from them for Man United right now. So I find that really, really annoying. Guys, we find ourselves yet again with defenders Tapsobia, Van der Ven. When is this going to happen, guys? Um, no news as yet, no updates, but we are now linked. Um, say linked. There's a rumour. Obviously, Juventus are looking to sell and Bremer could be the one to make way. And listen, guys, if you, if you guys see me in, in the past, uh, spoke, hear, heard me speaking about this player in the past, I'm a fan of his and I would love to have him at Spurs if there is even the slightest of opportunities of getting him. Gleason Bremer is the man I'm talking about. According to Italian outlet Il Bianconero, Tottenham Hotspur are leading the race to sign Juventus defender uh, Gleason Bremer. Uh, the Brazilian's performance have impressed Tottenham, who view him as an ideal addition to strengthen the back line. Juventus could be open to selling Bremer for the right offer, as it would provide cash injection that could be used to address areas in need of improvement. The reports add that the player is attracted by the deal playing in the Premier League and that if the right proposal arrives, he could say goodbye. The 26-year-old possesses excellent reading of the game, strength in aerial duels and good passing ability, making him a suitable fit for Ange Postacoglu's team at Tottenham. Postacoglu has acknowledged that the club is working hard to secure a centre-back signing and it is priority 
area of focus. I couldn't agree more. <laughs> Absolutely uh, area of focus. Listen, and Bremer is, I think, has the right mentality, uh, possesses the right uh, attributes to complement um, the likes of Romero. Um, I think it would be suitable, strong, powerful, like I said, very, very good in the air. And he's not slow either. He's, he's a great reader of the game as well. So has leadership qualities, was the captain of Torino previously before joining Juventus. So for me, and he's in the Brazilian international, so South American connection between him and Romero could work wonders for us. So I, I would see somebody like um, Bremer as a really good fit at Tottenham. Um, Juventus are looking to sell their best assets, Vlaovic, Chiesa and Bremer. Of course, they're not going to sell every single one of them, but those are the guys that probably have the most interest around the globe um, in regards to getting those players there. They would, they, would rec they would actually get the most summer money for Juve. So anybody going in for those three players, depending who goes out of the door first, it would be a massive addition. We know that Liverpool are interested in Keza. We know, um, you know, obviously Bremer is, is, is a sort out defender. Um, Vlaovic is also, you know, a player that's, you know, spoken about in and around Europe to be got. So I think there's a lot of interest around those players. But we need to act. If we top Sovia and, and Van de Ven are not going to be coming to play here at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. I think Bremer would be a real good solution to that. I don't think it would be as expensive as people think. And I just think at the right price and at the right... I think the, the, the personal terms between us and the player wouldn't be too much of a problem either. So for me, at the right price, get it done and bring him over. Juve would part with him. If the right offer comes in from Juventus, would part with Bremer. I, I like the player. I don't know how you guys feel about it. Let me know in the comments below. Um, I just want this issue sorted out first and foremost with Kane going back to that and secondly our defensive issues I think I will be so much more tranquil moving forwards once we've addressed those players those those areas that we need reinforcing in and getting them in of course and then after that we can just solely focus solely focus on the players that we need to ship out reduce the numbers in the squad because we've got too many at the moment after which we can really start focusing on the upcoming season because before we know it man the season will have started come on Spurs man let's get it done let's get the business done early and then we can focus on the football inside of thing on the pitch give Postacoglu the best opportunities to do his job for Spurs let me know your thoughts in the comments below like the video comment on what's been discussed today and of course subscribe guys I saw yesterday that more than half of our viewers are not subscribed. <laughs> Incredibly, we looked at this, it's an actual start. More than 50% of the people that view our content are not subscribed to the channel. It's incredible. You watch us every day, you love our content, you clearly watch our content because you enjoy it. If you hate it, but you still watch it, subscribe in any case. Let us know. Please subscribe guys, it's very, very important for us. And of course, like the videos also. The more, it's like a like of the videos, like a pat on the back. It shows that you, you like our content and you come on, tune in and view it every single time. It is always, always, always much appreciated. All of, uh, much appreciated. For those of you who just joined us, are new subscribers, welcome from coming up. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Tottenham Away. Like I was saying, like the vid, comment on the vid, and of course, subscribe. As always, forever always, from the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, it's come on you Spurs. The first game we look for, Robbie. Tottenham away. When we got Tottenham away.